how do we do it? How do we do it when we are working in a situation that is filled with backstabbing and politics and downright evil people, not just disturbed people, evil people, people who truly have nothing out for you but their worst. They want you to feel bad, and they seem to work up ways to make you feel awful, as awful as possible, say things, do things, sabotage you. I mean, I'm making it sound bad, aren't I? I've been there. I've been there. That is the reality. There are people who have it out for you. They may want you fired, or they just may, may be evil to everyone they work with. They may be screamers, or they may be the quiet types, like the woman that I worked for who could just implement that ice pick real gently, and it had the most impact. I was wounded for days. I used to say to her, wow, that really hurt. And she would say, Sue, that was just direct communication. Don't put any emotion to that. And I'd say, really? That was just direct communication? Why am I bleeding so much? It hurt, the things that she would say. Well, I have a message for you today, and it is that you can make it through that situation. You can. But you can't make it through situations like this, these treacherous work situations on a wing and a prayer. I mean, you can try. You can pop the aspirin. You can pop the naproxen. You can, you know, get the Advil going and get yourself geared up and somehow get to sleep on a Sunday night and get yourself into work on Monday morning and start. But you've got to have a strategy if you're really going to make it through such a difficult place. There is a way to get through what you're going through. And there is an end result to getting through what you're going through. That end result can either be that it was a horrible, awful, terrible situation that once you are on a beach somewhere finally recuperating because you've finally been able to leave the job, that you can think, man, I blew it. I blew that situation. I could have done this. I could have done that. I could have made a difference. If only I had. I wish I had. If only I'd been more mature about how I. So that you, could, you can either be thinking, I blew it. Or you can say, Whew, I did my best and I succeeded. I got out of there with my dignity still intact. 